So as we begin, we have the hardware, CPL filter, hard wiring kit, dash camera, and of course an SD card to upload all the So we're working our placement with the customer. It's gonna go behind the mirror. Golf. Fuse box is located under the glove box or behind the glove box. A pillar. And that's a two-channel system. Front and rear. Let's get started. CPL filter. So as you can see this little white line, you reference it with that white line. So white line and white line join and they're good to go. CP off it is on. Ready to mount. Okay, bear with me guys. I'm gonna take this A pillar off and leave the camera there. In a previous video, I said I'd show you in the following. They're tight metal clips, aluminium. So let me just put my headlight on so I can see what I'm doing. Pull it up. There you go, one, and half, halfway down, we got another one. This one should just pop off. Another tight metal clip. And up. Got it. So what I like to do is I like to separate them off the A-pillar so I don't damage the clip. First one, the top one just needs to lift up a little bit more and we're out. Give me a second so I can give you a better understanding. Clip filling. Go. 
Yeah. Oh, there is the third one. Oh, so stuck as well. Cow. Nice and fun, this one. Usually this third one pops out, but it's tight, so it's still stuck. There we go, guys. Now, as you grab it from the top, you wiggle it slowly. This one is a little bit tight because it's clipped at the bottom as well. And then as you pull up, just slowly wiggle it to the side, and then you'll see you've got your Toyota connector here. And literally just push in the tabs and pulls out. Oh, one hand. No, it doesn't like me today. There you go. It's off. As you can see this, so this is the airbag here. There's a factory loom harness here. And we run the dash cam wire with that loom all the way down to the fuse box underneath the club box. Stay tuned. Let's go. Just a quick look. We pull the roof lining down here on the side, and as we get it, we get it here to the back. Trim, pulling down the roof lining carefully. Just try and get that focus. And then, as you can see, the cable's there. We have a long cable tie that goes to the back of the car. As you can see, we pop this roof lining down. There's two metal clips. There's one, and there's the other one just behind my cable tie. Here's the cable tie. Now we route the cable through, and we continue at the back to get the camera here. Now we go through the grommet here, remove this plastic trim, and then we mount the camera, and then we make a loom of the extra excess cable. Back to work. So as we pull the roof lining down, we run our feeder through this grommet and get it up through here in the tailgate. And we route the cable now. And obviously you can see there's a loom here already. Everything's happening here at the back. We make a harness and then we run the dash cam and then all the extra wire gets loomed up and put back in here. Here I am now guys, so as you can see, I've ran the wire, like I said, down the A-pillar with the harness comes all the way down this way down that way now I come here to the side I earth it to that bolt and then I run it over here to the fuse box twist my fuse taps on heating up my soldering iron and let's go all right guys now to put it back on so first we line it up and we just plug in the the tweeter it only goes in one way clicks in now we'll see I always like to create like some sort of loop here over the, the tweeter now let's see so we get this corner in push and now slide back and forth and then put, put a little bit of pressure there we go now push Little bit's gotta go in. That's it. 
we go. And that side's in. That side's in. What I usually like to do is I like to reference it from the outside of the car so I can make sure that those metal clips line up into the channel. Like that, she's on. Also, got a line up, so you see here, this little actually goes over that bit. Once you do it once, you'll know 